this event was basically um, meeting up with uh, the SAS Catalyst kids to see if we could um, relate to anything and consider um, similarities and differences between the our impact program and um, SAS's Catalyst program, see if we could make improvements to either of the programs, um, see if we could sort of inspire each other with um, our own projects. I was really excited to learn about what other students were doing and to reach out into the broader international school community and see how students living in a completely different country could kind of do the same things as us and how they could pursue their passions um, within a similar context. This idea of personalized learning and student agency isn't just one that is being fostered in a sole place. It really is amazing to see what happens when you connect student agency and their passions. Provide them some structure, some skills, and then get out of the way and let them go. I got really excited about just everyone's ideas and um, how different they were and just their willingness to you know, take a step out of the normal education system and take a risk. I think it's it's just really encouraging to know that we're not the only school that's doing something like this. You have to really look at all the perspectives involved in this. And if you leave some out, you're not going to get that really robust feeling of what this program looks like from top down or from kids up. I hope that schools like ASIJ and SAS learn that students are a lot more capable than adults think they are. Now we understand that colleges are not just looking at a traditional sort of uh, student. Yes, you might have SAT score, a good SAT score, you might have great grades, but there are many, many people out there who are just like you, who can say that we have a great SAT score and great grades. So what is it that sets you apart? And I think as Mr. Harden and Mr. Steigerwald put it, the X factor, I think that's what this idea of personalized learning brings and I think that was a topic of discussion into the next steps. We basically just had an open invitation for people who were interested uh, based on the activities throughout the day and to see some of the students that I know from class completely unprompted come into the room, begin those conversations, connect it with things that they're doing and then be really excited about opportunities. For me that's an, a dimension of students that you don't always see through the normal curriculum in the normal school day based on the typical relationships that you have with them. You know, it, it, it reinforced the, the suspicion or the, the feeling that I always have about, about kind of the role of the teacher in the classroom, right? I think we are so kind of self-important in that process and we think we uh, scaffold everything for every kid to, to have success and the second we back away and let students do things, like meaningful things, they they shine, right? It, had we kind of constructed all of these, these things for them to do, it would have been far less meaningful for them and for us. Uh, when we first started uh, collaborating with ASAS, I was really excited because, you know, all of our stuff has been inside SAS and all of our impact has been inside, but when uh, we had the opportunity to share our impact outside of Singapore and uh, especially with another school uh, that we've had previous ties to, it was really cool. This is something that we really, really value on the same level that we value the other things that we value, and to prove that, here's space for it. It's also really fun to know that you can take leadership and just be taken seriously as an adult and be looked up to and respected in the same way that adults are. So we're always gathering feedback and modifying that. I think keep going with the idea that there's, there's constant growth that needs to happen within the programs as they evolve. Keep focused on what's best for our users, what's best for our users, what's best for our users. SAS and ASIJ have a great history of offering rigorous academic programs. But more and more, we realize that our students, they want more. They want a chance to connect to their own passions and connect to serious, meaningful, lifelong learning. And the IMPACT program and the Catalyst program are our first best attempts at doing just that. It's really meaningful for them to see meaning in what they do, right? They have to see the importance of what they do. And they're, they're part of a, a much broader movement around self-efficacy, around agency. And for students to get together with other students that are interested in the same things and work towards the same goals and know that they're, they're, there are people out there also doing this work in other places that they can collaborate with and connect with, I think it's so valuable.